Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you uh, two tricks for um, downloading um, GIS um, data from the GIS application online and also how we can convert um, one of the examples um, a different format of the data we can download to a uh, shapefile or a uh, feature class that can directly use in um, GIS software so um, what I got, what I'm showing here is uh, one of the GIS application from um, AGAC Houston Governor Area Council. You don't need to uh, worry too much about the name, but this is just a demo that I want to show. So all the links and uh, uh, apps uh, or the tools that I used in this video will be uh, listed in the description of the video. So feel free to check out. So. Um, this is the original land use information system. So what I'm gonna do here is, um, so let me just start from the scratch. So after we launch at the um, application itself, and we now can see different tabs that are underneath the window. So we have the layers list and also uh, legend and also some of the analysis uh, tools that we have from this application itself. And just for your information, if uh, the application um, does not allow you to select the data set, you probably will, um, uh, so the owner of the application probably won't be uh, letting you to uh, download directly from the application. Um, okay, so let's get it started. So uh, check, click on the layers list, and then so what I'm interested in is. Um, let use announced changes. So after turning on there, we can see some puzzles that are uh, showing up. And then the next thing I, I'm gonna do is to uh, click on the select. So you can see there are a lot, a bunch of tools that are available. So select by point, rectangle, polygon, line, etc. So what I usually do is by rectangle, where you can add the rectangle as the uh, as the area. So draw it, press down the um, mouse key and then uh, let it go when, when it's done. Okay, maybe try again. Press down to start and let it go to finish. Okay, so now the selection process begins. So you can see all those um, highlighted puzzles are the ones that are being highlighted and you can see there's 1,000 puzzles being selected here. Um, so because I'm just demo demonstrating purpose for this video, so I'm going to just show you another um, selection by like by Lesuto. So this is where you can um, freely identify the shape of the selection window so okay so here now is the selection so we selected the 694 puzzles and then we can click on the, uh, the dots here and see we have multiple actions so you can either uh, export to cvf or uh, geo uh, json so this is what i usually do so uh, i'll save it to the desktop, maybe. Um, I'll name it as announced changes. Okay, so we save this, and now we go to the GS application. So opening up the um, GS Pro. Okay, so this is the uh, application and click on the analysis tab and tools and just search on JSON and so you read the that feature, well, JSON to features. And then 
we can just select the file that we have downloaded where I think I saved in the desktop. Okay, so announce changes. And then basically select the location where you save it. And also this is a polygon. So just click on run. Oh, what happened? Let's see. Not editable. So it might have been because it's linking to somewhere when I, when I download it. So let me close up um, the browser and try again. Just select to save it here. Okay, so now it's running. Um, Okay, so if we zoom to the layer, now we can see all the records that we downloaded from the Jazz application. And we have all the records that are associated with the um, file. So I think this is a good way. Sometimes if you cannot um, like download the chip file feature class geodatabase from the agency, then we can find other ways to um, manipulate the data. And when, this is one of the good ways I find out that we can download from the online application because a lot of agencies now they have the JS online applications where you can download data and you can select the area that you want the data for and then use the JS tool toolbox to convert to the sheet file or feature class. Um, this is what I'm going to talk about today and uh, um, looking forward for the next video.